and then you look on the ruler and we're pretty close I'm gonna move it up one tick and enter that and then just enter that and do the same thing again by using the down arrow and centimeter to go to negative five negative five down arrow and then use your left and right positive up left negative down and once I like where I like it enter again and so forth go on to the next one and then you make the adjustment I need to move this one up so right arrow move it until you like it enter and go on to the next once we did the negatives now we're back at zero now we're going to do the positive end centimeters so we're going to hit the up arrow and it's going to go to 90 there's the 90 we go one centimeter up and it's there it's good the main adjustment left or right arrow now if you want to check the next centimeter as far as that centimeter you look on the pendant centimeter to calibrate needs to go to two two there and using this arrow, the up arrow, does the positive centimeter. So I'm going to press this. It says two there, and it went up to two centimeters up from ISO 7. And from that point, it could possibly come down a little bit. So you may, to make that adjustment, you hit the left arrow, which is negative, and it will bring that down. And that's where I want it enter again and then on to the next centimeter to calibrate Pos the up arrow positive centimeter it needs to be adjusted the left arrow move it down left arrow once it's good left arrow once it's good enter again and then go on to the next centimeter centimeter calibrate four walk it up four then it should be the fourth centimeter from where we started and we adjust it. It needs to move down just a little bit. We're gonna that's good, so now we're gonna enter it. And go on to centimeter number five. And then we're gonna repeat this process from five, from where we're at five here, all the way up to positive thirty, which is this two hundred point. So we need to verify that it's moving each centimeter all the way up until that point. Once that's done, then we're pretty much done. Then all you have to do is hit, go back to zero and hit the save button and you are done at that point. And what you want to do is just have the thing hit the up arrow and it lands on the centimeter every time and you don't make adjustments. That's what you want to see. And once we are at the, the 30 centimeter, 30 centimeter to calibrate at that 200 point, there's a 30 centimeter. Once we're there at the top of our calibration points, then we just tell it to go to zero. The middle button here, go to zero. Laser will drive down to zero. And once it's there at the zero point, then you hit save on the uh, hand pendant. And once that's done, we can do the other arm. And to do that, we need to take the ruler out and flip it around to the other side. And to do that, and we set it up the same way as we did on this side. Mark putting it, lining up the laser to 500. Just flip it around. Line the holes.
Okay, now I'm just, we reversed the ruler around. Now I'm just aligning it to 500, just like the last time we aligned it to on the 500, aligned on the ruler, tightened it. Once that's done, we need to, we're going to calibrate the other laser. In this case, it's Z1. So we need to change the button on there, or the cursor of the carrot, to match Z1. Once that's done, now you're able to do the same thing as before. From 0 to minus 10, and from, from 0 to minus 10, and then from 0 to positive 30 again. And then once that's done, save it just like before on the other one, and you're done with the calibration. So you can exit out of the program.